there comes a time in every friendship where things change, where connections get deeper, and it's time for weird show and tell, where you and your friend tell each other all of the strangest things about each other. And for me, that's showing you guys all my weird shit. So, this is, um, my hearse. It gets weirder than this. This is a 1986 Oldsmobile 88 station wagon. Uh, this is my dream hearse. I'm not ashamed to admit that I have owned four hearses. Two Cadillacs, a Parisienne, and this, my old. Was there dead people inside this at some point? Bruh. Yes, for many, many years. But they were rocking back here. Oh, yeah, I'll show you. Struggling out. I think driving a hearse is a really great way to reuse and recycle. Uh, they're super cheap on insurance. They are always really low in kilometers, and sometimes they come with a friend. <sighs> Look inside this. Look at that beautiful wood. Does the back of your car have wood? I didn't think so. You can move flooring, you can move friends, you can put a bed in there and do weird stuff if you want to. But I'm gonna be really honest with you, do not slide your cooter over one of those rollers. You will suck a lip in and rip it off. I have PTSD. This is hard to see. Okay, hold on. All right, look at that. Okay, you see that fireplace? That is from the set of Lock and Key, and it used to be on the set of the Haunted Astray podcast, which is, I put in a hiatus because I needed to focus on life, and then life just punched me in the face. This is my spiral staircase. It's the reason I bought this house. I don't use it. It shakes when you go up it, and that makes me nervous. This is my library. I know a lot of people don't get to say they have a library, these are thousands of books that I've never finished. I just go to Audible. I listen to it all. <sighs> this is my bar slash sideboard that I bought from an auction. And when they went to go pick it up, they found out that the man who owned this was a very bad man who had very bad things in his house. But it's now here. And I also found out a magic trick. I used to think it was haunted, but nope, because if you just lean right here, look at that. Oh, oh, you're about to see that I am kind of a hoarder. Just mugs. I love mugs. Mugs are great. Also, look at the deer window. That is stained glass. Came with the house. This is my pump organ. I bought it from the same auction as the cool sideboard bar where we found out the guy was really sus. Also, really fun fact, uh, Sam and Colby were here and Sam just started playing a pump organ. So that's a special skill that you may not have known about Sam, but he can play a dirty pump organ. This is called taxidermy because it's not done well and it looks derpy, so. This is Reginald. More weird things. This right here is a casket plate. Yeah, uh, so it says Emily Sevilla Dennis. She was 36 years old, seven months and 17 days. And Febby, Febby 11th. 1891. So these were taken off the caskets and given to the families when they went to bury their loved ones. It was on the front. So this would have been on her casket and then kept as a keepsake. I have a lot of these. I don't know why, but I find them interesting. I just have such a fear of being forgotten, I think, and I don't want people to feel like they're forgotten. So I got you, Emily. I have a very extensive collection, by that I mean four, of these massive crystal skulls. Um, I only have four because they are so much money, but I feel like they just put so much good vibes into me and they're all for different things. This is actually petrified wood, but it's like a crystal and it is, I'm not lying, probably 20 pounds. Um, I have a labradite, I have petrified wood, I have clear quartz and amethyst. This next piece is new to my collection and content warning, it is pet taxidermy. Uh, so if that's gonna upset you, you might wanna just skip forward about one fat minute. Come here, Bob. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is little Ruby. This is very sad. This is a poodle puppy. It's soft mount taxidermy. You're gonna be seeing a lot of taxidermy. Some people have a really hard time looking at her. Um, other people like it. Um, here's the thing. She died in a very tragic accident. Um, a donkey got loose and stepped on her. <gasps> the amazing woman who I got this from, here's her Instagram here. I actually reached out to her and she wanted to send it to me as a gift, which was the sweetest thing in the whole world. So she has a really happy little home here where she got stepped on by a donkey. And I think it was such a shame to just bury her. So I'm the same way. I was like, once Molly passes away, 
you'll be seeing her again. But yeah, look at little Ruby here forever. <laughs> I love, oh, I just got her little, little toes and her little ears. This is my favorite piece of art. I went to um, a market and everybody had different goods and there was an artist there and she did this. So it's kind of Little Red Riding Hood, but she's holding the wolf on her back with the woods on top. And it just felt like such powerful message of femininity and the power that us as women hold. So this is my favorite. It actually came in this frame. I thought she did so good matching it with the frame and I needed it. So it's, it's not an original, it's a print, but like I would buy the original, but this is my favorite and whew, the tag is gone, but Look at that, Little Red Riding Who? That's Lucifer, I don't know why his name is Lucifer. I bought him after watching the movie The Witch, but I love him, I feel like he has really good vibes and he looks over the whole house and he has creepy slanty eyes. There's a man in Poland and in Poland they eat a lot of rabbit and after he eats the rabbits, he taxidermies them. Uh, I personally, couldn't stomach eating a rabbit, but I buy his creations sometimes because he's selling them anyways and he's eating them anyways. So I have about nine rabbits, all different flavors. This one's black. I have two of these. This is Snow. She's the little mascot for the property. She's my property mascot. And I keep, you know, black and white right there, yin and yang. Oh my God, I should name them yin and yang. Ooh. This is Wilmont. Uh, it's not a real bear because I didn't want someone to go out and kill me a bear for taxidermy because I collect taxidermy for a much different reason than other people. I just think it's really nice when things live on but not get hunt like Adam hunts and he hunted a deer once and I've never been the same since. But this is Wilmot. He's a stuffed bear, like a literal giant stuffed animal and he's one of my biggest regrets that I've ever bought because I love him. I want him there, but he was in the front of a store and I didn't realize that he was the store's mascot. And I went to the owner and said, name your price. And then later I found out that there was a little boy who was really upset that I took this bear. But now it's like, I can't just take the bear back there. So he's probably forgotten about it by now. I don't really have anything to fill the spot. So that's Wilmot and I love him. I have an extensive collection of Meta Knight dolls, um, or well, Amish dolls, I don't know which one it is here. They don't put faces on their dolls, but I think they look spooky and cute. This one's from my grandma's attic, and it's definitely have about 15 of them. <sighs> These are some antelope horns, and I strategically put them right above my desk, so when I video call my friends, it looks like I have antelope horns. Are you okay? I'm okay. Oh. Oh, this is a weasel. I found him in Texas when I got that horrible food poisoning. It's just a cute little guy. Look at him. <laughs> this is my raven. Adam got this for my birthday last year and it came from Russia or Romania. I don't know. They have a place where they take care of these birds. Um, it's like a rescue. Is it a, that's the word I'm looking for. Rehabilitation place. Um, he actually came with his story. He lived a super long life, but then passed away, just passed away. And then to raise funds for the rescue, they taxidermy the birds and they sell them. So this is my raven. His name is Poe because of Edgar Allan Poe. I'm taking you to my oasis. Uh, I was drying a blanket. Am I prepared for this video? Yeah. Nah. Dun, 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 I'm a maximalist. I'm a maximalist. Hello, now welcome to my floor. Yes, you're seeing my puppy dog here. This is something that got me in a lot of trouble on TikTok last year. I did some videos with this Siberian hus. Nope, it's not that. It's just, what is it called? Some kind of wolf. Um, it's a soft mount wolf. None of my taxidermy, I always like try and look into it the best that I can. Like this wasn't something that was like, none of my taxidermy became taxidermy. Like got killed just to become taxidermy. No, but yes, this is through another friend who was like, I have this, I can put it together. Would you like it? And I said, absolutely. Look how beautiful it is. Look at the like detail in the eyes and the nose. Like she's stunning and she stays up here. My dogs um, at first were afraid of her and then wanted to eat her, which is really interesting. But I regret getting it as like a full soft mount because it's just like, look, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. But she's up here on the floor, staying safe. It's huge. It scares my brother. But I love it. 
other than the box being there, doesn't this just look so fun? Okay, so what do we have? What do we have? First, these dolls over here. Um, I found them in Salem, but I've seen them before at like a haunt thing. Just like a bunch of crystals. Okay, my witch is hot. There's a hawk. Um, this was my grandmother, so it's kind of grandfathered in. Look, we got another black rabbit. But look at this desk. Don't you just want to sit here and just, I don't know, do things? I do. Look at this. This used to hold candles. But I got rid of them and it holds crystal balls. I better be careful. Can you imagine that just starts fire up here? If you have watched any of my ghost videos, then you know Esty. Esty has traveled with me all over the world, but she's sitting beside my biggest collection ever. So I collect people's photographs. I have such a hard time thinking that like when we're gone after a couple hundred years that we're just, we're gone forever. Do you know what I mean? And no one is gonna remember us or care about us. Look at this handsome devil beside the plane. I found this album at a garage sale and it is someone's entire life. I'm going to find the photo for you because it's coming up pretty soon. But this album belonged to one woman and it starts like this is her as a baby and you get to kind of like watch her grow up. This, look at this, lots of luck, Garland. Like who is he? He shows up a couple times. There's some photos of these guys who go to war and then they're not in here anymore. And it doesn't look like she ever got married. I think that like, I come up with their stories in my head, but it feels like she uh, got married. I mean, her, fell in love. The, here's her as a young girl, okay? Look at that, young girl. But yeah, I think um, there's her as like a baby. I think her life just like didn't turn out the way that she thought. Look at it, as a young woman. And then there she is as an old lady. But the guy from the beginning, there's photos of her standing with him. And um, then he's just gone. So I think, I think that was her love and, and he passed away. That's just my guess. Oh, it breaks my heart. I have a friend, Alana. Hi, if you see this, um, she lets me know when things come in because she works at a restore and she had an entire family's history come in, all their photos, all their paperwork, and I took it. And it was crazy because when I did research on the family, they ended up being like um, one of the biggest families in Toronto. They kind of started the whole, the whole pharmaceutical industry there and their stuff just ended up at a donation place. So that's where we all end up. But over all in all, I probably have about 10,000 still photos a lot of them are just small shots but some of them are like really big and i just i want them to live on look at these kids there's little selena yeah so grade five and grade eight wild remember those rabbits i was showing you so this is one that i kind of i i put i use them for crafts okay so i made this terrarium i put the little duckies in there we got the rabbit it's just so delectable looking i feel like there's so many different things that i could point out but i i love vintage books like this is a very old medical book from 1924 it's bananas let me show you first the patina is just gorgeous but oh my god oh i forgot about that Look at that pressed flower. Probably in there since the 1920s. Ooh, they have the brain in here. And some of the things they say is just wonders of liquid air, diseases spread by saliva. So this is just the coolest. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you pull out all the organs as they lay in there. Like the fact that this has survived. Oh, this is the coolest part ever. All right, so apparently, you know, time is here. Um, constructiveness is here. Ideality is here. Like, isn't that bananas? Parental love back here. Destructiveness, secretiveness. How insane is this? Let's, some of the advice in here and what they say is bananas. Look what I just found. Delay and suppression of the menses, you know, getting your period. Delay of the menses when the age is reached at which they should be expected to need to give no uneasiness. The delay involves neither danger nor suffering and should be left to nature. Oh, let me find something really cool. I'm sorry. Sore nipples! <laughs> they prop for everything in this book. Well, there you go, cutie boos. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Glad that I showed you all of my things. Maybe you think it's weird, maybe you think it's not. If you don't think it's weird, but if you think it's weird in a delicious way, then we're best friends. I just love this room so much. And look, I got a skylight. Sometimes when the crows are flying over, I lay here on the ground and I just stare and I try and count them. And it's super meditative and fun. But I hope you enjoyed this. 
Maybe one day you can come and visit. Please tell me in your comments about all of the weird things that you collect because I would like to know. And don't forget, um, subscribe. And if you have a video idea, drop it in the comments. I love you guys. And until next time, bye. Maybe you should just stop showing them how weird you are.